get the door card off a Range Rover, uh, first thing to do is there's a little flap here, put your finger there, and pull it off, and it will reveal the Phillips uh, screw head. And that's got to be unscrewed first. Underneath the uh, pocket there, there's two recesses, and there's two very long, um, I think they're 6mm or 8mm uh, screw heads. They've got to come out, they're very, very long, you need a long reach tool to get to those. Those two have to come out. Once they're out, you're nearly there. At the very bottom of the door card, you've got these uh, uh, plastic lugs that hold it in. Put a, a spatula underneath and prise it underneath and put your finger and you'll prise it. There's probably about 15 of them all around here. Once this pops off, at the very top, you've got one, two, three, four lugs that hold the top in. Just pull it this way slightly, hold on to the door card. The speaker has got two uh, plugs on it. They've got to be undone, then the door card will lift off. Right, one part from Land Rover UK. There's a part number. Part number L R O seven eight. 720. So it's a uh, door latch mechanism for Range Rover 405, supercharged. That's the module itself. Two screws that hold it onto the door. There's a door locking mechanism. On the top, inside the door, you've got a connection you've got to disconnect and pull the units out. So it's fairly straightforward. So it's held onto the door with three uh, big screws. That's the lock mechanism, which you can see. This is inside the door. And again, one connection there, one connection. Now, before I put it on, I'm going to grease all this up. Because from what I can see there, there's not enough grease in there. I'm going to use some other grease, light grease. Even the uh, spring mechanisms give it a bit more than what Land Rover's done. Is there anything you can see in there? Just lubricate all the moving bits. Like machine oil, don't use anything too heavy. So that's got all the mechanism done. Anything that you can see that moves. In here now because it's in there this is the bit you can see you've got to get your hands in there but the first thing is how to it to uh, there are uh, t20s one two three i have cracked them off already so these are We've just got the old unit out. What a nightmare to get out. And this is a new beast. So what I've got to do is transfer that cable onto there. Plus there's one, two, three, four cables which have got to go in. Now what they don't tell you, you buy this unit here, the cables are all linked to various pulley systems. But the module has got an armoured case in there, it? Basically, it sits like that, and the armour ca casing. There you go. That's how it sits in the car, basically. And you've got to take this armour casing off here. This is uh, this is what you'll find inside the vehicle. A uh, bit of plate in there. I call it armour plating. There's a clip there and a clip there. You've got to pull the top one off first, lift, lift, and that comes off and it exposes the cables. The cables are coming out through here, and you can see the cables there. 
and this one there's a, uh, a club screw plastic club screw that holds them on take that out and there's a wiring harness going up there then that will come off like that then you can undo the cables all these cables so put it back on this is what I'm going to do now inside the uh, fit that onto there snug it in then put this top on the cables will go through the holes and there's screws on the top see those grooves there and they've got to go down and that's got to clip, clip in place and that glove screw uh, plastic glove screw will hold it all in place but that stops all the cables getting attacked by things now that's the one we put in there with the uh, dog leg goes up to there these are the plastic bits when you undo them you've got to watch you don't break any of these clips otherwise you've got to buy the whole thing again that one there in particular has got a uh, a locking mechanism on the back thin screwdriver lift it a tight fit very tight one that is that one goes over to the top to that and it runs down to the uh, soft clothes motor which is there so you've got to use that original cable as I said don't break these plastic bits now the other two in here you've got two massive cables which you can't get to unless the, because the armour plating is around there one goes into here and it's operated this lever there that's the way the lock goes by the way that way so the cables run one there one there now the other cables here in there and it's controlled this thing here and that's got a dog leg on so the dog leg is easy to undo that you've got to watch you don't snap it that one very tight as well the only way to undo those is with it in the car because you can't pull it down you've got to undo the cables first on the bottom so that has got to come out there cable then you can undo the clip the dog leg comes out then you can undo the clip then you've got it like this so you're halfway there and there's two electrical points one there which the harness is here already obviously you don't get it mixed up that one by the way good old Land Rover decided to pull the top off when you try and pull it out it wasn't molded very good probably made in Taiwan uh, that goes into there now that one there when it's in the door you can't get to the release mechanism because of this place it's in the door like that so the only way of doing it is to undo all the cables literally when it's here you've got to get a screwdriver into it to pull it out and that's when the cover came off that is a oh, I don't know, designed to fail you can't you just can't get to it because of that uh, plating now once it's back in there with three screws on then you can put that uh, plastic two-piece armor plating around because it stops anyone going through the top of the window to pull all these levers so it's very good design but again when you take this off don't snap the plastic joins otherwise it will rattle around the uh, door T20s were there this will cover one of them you've got to take this uh, cowling off so the first thing you're going to do is put the cowling back on now there's some clips here you just find see the white ones there you just literally got to pull it down so these are a bit of uh, hit and miss at the moment so I'm going to put the bottom one in first slide it underneath Got to marry the two up first again you don't want to break any clips so that's in that's in push that home these two don't forget that's covering let me just pull this away a minute that's covering the screw up there you need to take this off this needs to be pulled down a little bit 
And again, you don't want to break anything. Let's do the middle one first. That one there. You can take them out, but there you go. Just double check, you've got one there, one there, one there, one there. Soft closed motors there. That's got one there. So you've got one, two, one there. This is your internal door handle, which goes onto the unit here. There's a groove there. That's where that goes through. So that's got to go straight through there now. That's got to be ready. Let's get in through a minute. And this door can't, it can go, let me just get it seated a little bit. There's a clip I think in the middle. There's 13 of these to do. But do make sure you've got that sticking through. Now, while I'm doing this one up, these electrical bits you don't need to do. I've got a feeling, I'll show you something in a minute. That one there is the crash protection for the airbag, I think. There's a knock sensor in there. Now, what I did before I started doing any of this, I disconnected the car battery in the boot and left the boot open. Don't close the boot, the bonnet, uh, the boot, otherwise you can't get to the battery. But disconnect the mains when you're working on anything with the car, then you're not going to, uh, like, for instance, trigger the airbags off. Now the door car's in. That's the speaker... Uh, connection this is the uh, one of the speakers from the meridian sound system 27 speaker system in the car the top of the range uh, system you can get so what i'm going to do is put this in with the there's four uh, t20s that hold it in you've got to disconnect the speaker because obviously it's on the wiring loom and you've got to get into the uh, you don't want to damage the speaker so take it out all right, speaker's in. Plug in the bomb. That one there is for the door card. The door card's going to go on because there's some bits in the door card. That's what you should have out, out there. Check these are level in case you've knocked them. That's very important because that one, that one and that one are big. Let me just get these... these uh, these things here hold the door handle so when you pull the door handle these are the two which are very very long to get into buggers to get to they will hold the most of the door card on so there's one there and there's one there but the other things clip on so just check it before you do anything further those three are done up that's perfect those sensors you haven't altered as i said the car is disconnected from the mains i think that's got something to do with the side protection system as well airbags or something if you have a knock let's go and get the door card 